Hey students, today's topic is how to find anti-log using a log table. Find anti-log 3.2397. So when we are solving anti-log, we will see that it has two part. A part before the decimal point and a part after the decimal point. So the part before the decimal point is known as characteristic. And the part after the decimal point is known as mantissa. So we will have to check the mantissa part. So take up the first two digit of the mantissa part. So it's 23. Search 23 on your antilogarithm table. Then go to the column 9 it's 1734 1734 you can write it at the graph 1734 now take up the next digit that is 7 and check it in the mean difference. It's 3. So you will have to add up 3. Now it's 1737. Okay. Now here you can write 1737. Now come to the characteristic part. It's 3. So, write in the rough column 3 and you will have to add 1. So, it's 4. Now, after 4 digit, you will have to put a decimal point. So, count it. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Now, give a decimal point and just add a 0. So, the anti-log of 3.2397 is 1737.0. Let us take another example. Find anti-log 2.3642. So, in the characteristic part, it's 2 and in the mantissa part, it's 3642. So, we will have to take up the mantissa part. So, Take up the first two digit that is 36 and check it in your antilogarithm table. Now check for the next digit that is 4 along the same column. So it's 2, 3, 1, 2. So write it down. In the drop 2312. Now check the next digit that is 2 in the mean difference along the same column. And it's 1. So add up 1. Now it's 2313. Just write it down here. 2, 3, 1, 3. Now come to the characteristic part that is 2. Write it at the rough column and add 1. We will always have to add 1 in the characteristic part. So it becomes 3. Now after 3 digits you will have to put a decimal point. So count it 1, 2, 3. So put it here. So the anti-log of 2.3642 is 231.3. I hope now you are able to find out antilog. So try it by yourself. Give your answer in the comment section. So if you guys have any confusion or if you want me to solve any problem then please write it down in the comment section. So I will post the videos of which you will want. 
If you liked the video, then hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Till then, keep studying, keep practicing.